we're going to start looking at least common denominators or LCD. We'll almost always call it LCD. And there are five steps, actually four steps to finding the LCD and then one additional step to finding an equivalent fraction. So let's go through these steps using an example. Let's say we have 5 over um, 24 and 7 over 50. Okay, so the first step is to find the prime factorizations of the denominators. So for us, that's 24 and 50. And I like working in order. You do not have to work in order to find the prime factorizations. I think we do not need to go beyond 7 for these two questions. So let's see. 24. 2 works, so I'm going to go ahead and use 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 4 two times. And both times we did not have any... Um, remainder. We all know that 2 goes into 12 six times and that 2 times 3 is 6. Since 3 is a prime number, we're all the way down to primes. So we have 1, 2, 3 twos. So the base is 2, the exponent is 3 that says how many 2's and then we have 1 3 and I can write it that way or I can write it without the little 1. For 50, does 2 go into 50? How do we know? We know it's an even number if the rightmost digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And it is in this case. The rightmost digit is 0, so we know 2 will work. 2 goes into 5 2 times, oh, but this time there's a remainder. Okay, let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 leaves 1. And I'm going to write that 1, which is our remainder, in front of the next number. Now, 2 goes into 10 five times. Good. Does 2 go into 25? And exactly right. 25 is not even. It is an odd number. And we can see that because the rightmost digit, which is 5, is not 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Does 3 go into 25. Let's check the rule of 3. Let's add 2 plus 5. We get 7. The rule of 3 said that when we get one digit After adding the digits, we want three, six, or nine. And you can see that seven is not three, six, or nine. So 3 does not go into 25, but we do know that 5 does. And since 5 is prime, both of these 5s 
our prime, we're all the way down to prime numbers. We can see that 50 has one, two, and two fives. The base is five, the exponent is two, the base is two, the exponent is one. So if I had seven to the four, the base would be seven, the exponent would be four, and this means seven times itself this many times, so four times. All right, well, we found the prime factorization. That was the first step. Find the prime factorization of all the denominators. So that was step one. Then it says to write the LCD, oh, write LCD equals, write LCD equals, and we want to write all the bases of every term in the exponential forms. So let's see. See if I can zoom out a little bit. Okay. So we have two and three as the bases for 24. So I'm going to put two and three. We already have the two for the 50, but we don't have a five yet. So five. That was step two. We wrote down all the bases, all the big numbers at the bottom for the prime factorizations. For each base, this is step three, for each base, find the higher exponent that it has in any individual prime factorization. Okay, so let's see. Here's two. There are three twos in 24, one two in 50, so I'm going to choose the three. It's the higher number. We have one three in 24, no threes in 50, so we're going to have one three. We have two fives in, uh, in 50 and no fives in 24, so we'll have two fives. And let's see if we can find a nice way to multiply this out. I know that 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And I'm going to continue to think of 2 squared, uh, 5 squared as 25. And let's look at these numbers. I know that four quarters makes a dollar, so eight quarters would make two dollars. So that means eight times 25 is 200, times three, and that makes 200 times three easy. So we get 600 because three times two is six, and we have two zeros. So we found the LCD. And that was the, the last step was multiplying the numbers. And now it says to find the equivalent fractions, multiply each denominator by whatever number is needed to reach the LCD. Multiply the numerator by that same number. Okay, so we've got 5 over 24 times something. We want the denominator to be 600. And let's remember that 24 was three twos and a three. If 24 was three twos and a three, and the LCD is three twos, a three, and two fives, what are we missing? Exactly right. We're missing those two fives. So I'm going to put since 5 times 5, or 5 squared, is 25, I'm going to put 25 over 25. 
let's just make sure for our own peace of mind that 24 times 25 really is 600. So 25 times 24, 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, and then we put a 0, 5 times 2, or 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 1, plus 1 is 5, and we're adding. So yay, we really do get 600. Now, if I have five quarters, then I've got a dollar and a quarter, so 125. 125 over 600 is the equivalent fraction to 5 over 24. I can multiply by anything I want as long as I multiply the same thing in the numerator and the denominator. And that's because 25 divided by 25, well, that's just 1. And you can multiply by 1 and not change anything at all. You just change how it looks, but not what it means. Okay, let's remember that 50 was a 3, oh, pardon me, was a 2 and 2 fives. And our fraction was 7 over 50. All right, what are we missing? So 50 has 1, 2, and 2 fives. The least common denominator has 3 twos, 1, 3, and 2 fives. So we've got the fives. We've got one of the twos. We're missing two more twos and a three. I'm going to write it this way. Two twos and a three. Two twos and a three. And two squared is four. Good. Because two times two is four. Four times three. Very good. So we're multiplying by 12. If you remember your 12s, 12 times 5 really is 60, and the one the zero hangs on. So we're good. 12 times 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And I never did multiply this out, I guess. Wait. Oh, this one. Here it is. So we have, so our, our two original fractions were 5 over 24 and 7 over 50. And we found that 5 over 24 was 125 over 600. And that 7 over 50 was 84 over 600. So these two fractions, the second two fractions, are equivalent to the originals. But they're nice for us because we can compare them. It's easy to see that there are 125 600s in the first fraction only 84 600s in the second, so that 125 over 600 is definitely bigger. It would be harder to see which one is bigger if we're just looking at 5 over 24 or 7 over 50.